Most gardeners believe fixing dead soil requires hauling in compost, applying expensive fertilizers, or overhauling the whole bed. But nature has already handed us some remarkable plants with the power to bring barren soil back to life. They don't just survive poor conditions, they thrive in them and make the ground better for everything else around them. Today, let's dig into five of the weirdest, most underestimated plants that act like soil doctors. Yarrow, comfrey, clover, chicory, and calendula. What makes these plants weird isn't how they look, it's what they do beneath the surface. Each of them has a unique ability to mine nutrients, support microbial life, attract beneficial insects, and create the kind of living, breathing soil every gardener dreams of. Whether you're starting a new garden bed or trying to recover years of neglect, these plants will work tirelessly underground, transforming dirt into rich, fertile earth. Let's jump right into the first unsung hero of soil healing yarrow. Yarrow is often seen as just another wildflower, but it's one of the most powerful plants you can grow to restore soil life. With its feathery leaves and clusters of tiny flowers, it doesn't look like a heavy lifter, but yarrow reaches deep into the soil with its roots, pulling up minerals that most shallow-rooted plants can't access. These minerals get stored in the leaves and, as the plant drops foliage or is chopped and dropped, they return to the surface and enrich the topsoil. Even more impressive is Yarrow's effect on microbial populations. It acts as a microbial multiplier, releasing compounds from its roots that stimulate soil biology. In dead or compacted soil where microbes have gone dormant, Yarrow reignites the biological fire. Once you introduce it, you'll notice that nearby plants start growing with more vigor and pest resistance. Yarrow works quietly but relentlessly, improving the environment for both plants and beneficial insects like predatory wasps and ladybugs. Comfrey the Dynamic Accumulator Comfrey is, honestly, one of the most powerful dynamic accumulators in regenerative gardening. Its massive taproot plunges several feet into the earth, accessing nutrients that other plants simply can't reach. Comfrey stores these minerals, especially potassium, calcium, and phosphorus, in its thick, fast-growing leaves. This is why comfrey is often referred to as a nutrient pump. When used as a chop-and-drop mulch or fermented into liquid fertilizer, comfrey delivers a nutrient-rich amendment that rebuilds the topsoil layer quickly. But even if you don't harvest it, just letting comfrey grow in place will dramatically improve surrounding soil. It increases organic matter content, improves structure, and boosts microbial activity. Comfrey also attracts pollinators with its purple bell-shaped flowers, ensuring your whole garden ecosystem stays strong. In areas where soil has been depleted by years of chemical fertilizers or poor gardening practices, comfrey makes a comeback possible. It doesn't just improve the soil, it makes it living again. Clover the Nitrogen Fixer If you've ever walked past a patch of clover and dismissed it as a weed, it's time to look again. Clover is one of the most efficient nitrogen fixers you can grow, especially in dead or heavily used garden soil. Its roots host symbiotic bacteria that pull nitrogen from the air and convert it into plant-available forms right in the soil. As a living mulch or cover crop, clover offers even more benefits. It shades the soil, reduces evaporation, prevents erosion, and suppresses weeds. When you mow it or let it die back, the decaying roots and shoots return organic matter to the soil, further feeding the microbial life below. More importantly, clover is resilient. It grows fast, survives tough conditions, and will quietly transform the poorest of soils into something lush and fertile, season after season. Chicory the Soil Breaker Chicory might not be the first plant that comes to mind when you think of soil regeneration. 
but this bitter leafy green has a taproot that's built for hard work. In compacted neglected soil, chicory drills down deep, physically breaking up hard pan and improving aeration. This not only allows better root penetration for future crops, but also improves water infiltration and drainage. What makes chicory special is that it doesn't just break up the soil, it also mines it. Like comfrey, chicory pulls calcium, potassium, and magnesium from subsoil layers and cycles them to the surface. Over time, this balances out deficiencies in the topsoil and helps correct pH imbalances naturally. Chicory also plays well with others, its taproot grows straight down so it doesn't compete aggressively for space or nutrients, making it a great companion in regenerative beds or pasture-style plantings. Calendula the Medicinal Mulch Calendula is often praised for its medicinal value in herbal skin care, but in the garden, it's just as healing, especially for damaged soil. This cheerful orange flower has shallow roots that release powerful compounds into the soil, including resins that stimulate microbial activity and suppress harmful nematodes. While it may not mine nutrients as deeply as comfrey or chicory, calendula offers something unique, a bioactive mulch effect. When its petals and leaves fall, or when you use it as a chop-and-drop plant, calendula adds biologically active compounds to the soil. These compounds don't just feed microbes, they also deter pests and fungi that thrive in imbalanced dead soil. Calendula grows quickly, blooms profusely, and self-seeds with ease. Plant it once, and you'll likely have it for years. Together, these five plants form a powerful team for soil revival. Each one brings a specific superpower nutrient cycling, aeration, nitrogen fixing, microbial stimulation, or pest suppression. But it's when you grow them together that the real magic happens. A garden bed containing yarrow, comfrey, clover, chicory, and calendula becomes more than just a planting zone. It becomes a living system that heals itself, builds resilience, and produces healthier crops season after season. You don't need a large space to start. Even a corner of a raised bed or a forgotten patch of backyard can become a soil reviving powerhouse with the help of these plants. They require minimal care, tolerate poor conditions and give far more than they take. And unlike chemical fertilizers or synthetic amendments, these plants leave your soil better, not worse, with every season. At Hydro Haven, we've seen gardens transformed by these botanical powerhouses. Soil that was once cracked, compacted, and biologically dead now grows food, flowers, and fungi with ease. If you found this guide helpful and want more soil smart gardening tips, make sure to subscribe to Hydro Haven and share this video with your gardening friends. The best soil you've ever had is just a few weird plants away. Let's grow it together.